So. Oh yeah, I also added a uh, kind of a, uh, well, what is it? Round over, but it's not a round over. <laughs> but anyhow, I think uh, like the dips in the response might be the fact that the ribbon is quite in the back. And that's also the result of using very deep back magnets maybe. So might need to try that. See if I bias it so it moves forward. If that changes. If not, then it's something different, I think. So vertical dispersion is terrible. With the big ones, it's of course terrible too. But uh, it's less noticeable than this one. This is about the worst length you can choose. It should be much bigger or much smaller. Uh, yeah, so. so I'll just play a song. And the song is... By the way, the recorder here is around, yeah, more than a meter away. But else you get like insane amounts of room. So it's like 120 away. We're gonna play. I just discovered her, maybe. I'm not sure what the rest of her music is like. It is called Ingrid Michelson. Uh, the way I am. I must say it has a little bit too much of the upper upper range so if you say well she has a slight S or whatever it's in the song but I do like the song and I'm playing at exactly 2.85 volt <laughs> so slightly more than 2 watts in this case because the impedance is a bit too low. A benefit is uh, it will since the increased uh, efficiency a little bit it will match these SB acoustics woofers uh, quite easily did I say already that I really like these forms I'm not sure how they sound yet maybe they sound like shit but I although it's plastic I like them I finally got the correct ones without the coaxial tweeter I ordered reordered them and now I got the correct ones but yeah, I will use the coaxial ones, uh, maybe, uh, well, somewhere in the future, for sure. 
I noticed some magnets tried to escape from my old panels. Oh no, it's not magnets, it's the tapes. Okay, I thought the magnets were popping out. Well, anyhow. <laughs> uh, yeah. I do kind of like this setup, but uh, it's not ideal. I mean, it works, but you have to be like, you know, if you're like a really long guy or girl, then you might have a problem and you get like a different response than if you were t a little bit smaller. So this is not ideal. And I really need to find these dips where they are coming from and see if I can fix them. That would be awesome. One thing I didn't know, uh, note uh, also is that it's a direct drive thingy. You see up here, no transformer. I had a discussion with myself and, and some others <laughs> and I, I posted it at DIY Audio as well about the transformers. I mean, there's kind of a law for it, but in the end they should be as efficient as one another using this method or transformer. The only um, downside of this is that these uh, foils are heavier since this is a laminate of aluminium and mylar and glue so if you use a true ribbon the only uh, benefit you get is weight i think and correct me if i'm if i'm wrong because it's still a de debate i don't know yet i think that's the case that's where your win is and so a transformer is well needed if you want to make a very small uh, ribbon but if you make big ones like me you could do it as well this way and it won't be as efficient as for instance a four, four micron foil or something because it's way lighter but then again yeah i don't know four micron foils in this width ha had like weird resonances all over the place to be honest so uh, maybe they can be fixed as well by different corrugations, etc., etc. But this is easier. This is at the cost of some efficiency. It damps the aluminium much better if you use a foil and some glue. But still, I need to. Uh, it's far from perfect. I want to know what these dips are. If I can remove those, then I'm really happy, and I think I can make something cool with it. Uh, there was something else. No, I forgot. I forgot. Except for Happy New Year. See you around.